Welcome back everyone. I'm Blue Dolphin with the Hall Plate Security Channel. We're gonna be jumping into data exfiltration for 200 points. Let's go. Jumping right into things here. Our challenge description reads, we noted some strange traffic on our network. Can you figure out what it is? I would love to. Let's get into it. Jumping over to the PCAP file here. I'm gonna maximize this. We can look through here and it is not necessarily the biggest PCAP, but there's some interesting things I noticed here. A lot of ICMP packets. And other than that, I don't see a whole lot that I think would really relate to data exfiltration. Because when it comes to data exfiltration, you have to think about it. Typically, what protocols would you use? Or if we were to go look at the MITRE map right now, and you search up data exfiltration over the network, you're gonna see ICMP is actually one of the really big ones. And the reason for that is because you can pad data into it. Well, looking through this PCAP file, we have many ICMP requests of 100 bytes. And that, I think, could be it. So let's take a look. And we'll take a look and there is, yep, there's data. So this is probably what we're looking for here. We have data, ICMP, but ICMP by default it does have, you know, like it does have data in it. So let's just take a look here. We're gonna copy this information. We're gonna copy the value. And then we're gonna check with the hex editor to see if this data, which is hexadecimal, is anything. But wait a sec, that's not hexadecimal, that's base 64. All right, let's go ahead and paste this into CyberChef, go from base 64 and we got nothing. No, this is hexadecimal. Interesting. I'm doubting myself right now. Let's keep looking through here. So the hundred, so this is nothing, unless we were supposed to do the magic. I doubt it, I don't think we were supposed to do magic here, but I am very confident that the data exfiltration is related to the ICMP packet here. No, that didn't work. So let's look for a different de data size here. Or, okay, so here we go. So we have a 44 and there is no data. Oh, that's a request case. Okay, so the reply is what we're looking for. This data looks interesting. So let's copy this data, copy value, pop it into CyberChef and uh, from hex. And there we go. You can see we have a PNG file. Awesome. So now what we need to do, there's a couple ways you can do this. We need to get all of this data from the ICMP pa uh, packets or the malicious ones. And then we need to take, so we need to build a PNG file. And we, he, we can either do that in CyberChef by pasting it all in there and saving to a file, or we can do it from the command line, or we can do it um, with Bless the hex editor, or we can even do it with hex D. So the trickiest part of this is using Wireshark, or not Wireshark, T-Shark, which, oh, my head just hurts thinking about it. So let's try it here. What we'll do, let's put CyberChef in the background, jump over to the command line. And this is going to be tricky. I'm just trying to think. We might actually be able to, first, before we use T-Shark, because it's going to hurt my brain, is I wonder if we can, I think we can just select all these packets, actually, and then just say extract given field. Otherwise we have to do like T-Shark, extract, um, and figure out how to do extractions by uh, the length of the packet. So we've selected, that there, there is this 189 data field, which might just be the tail end of it. Cause we, we've seen 44, we've seen 48. So let's just grab that anyways. Then we'll go file. How do we do this? Export. Sport specified, oh, I'm not sure how to do this. We might have to use T-Shark, I really hope not, just because it's such a hassle. Oh, I think we're gonna have to. All right, fair enough. So let's figure this out here. This might not go well. T-Shark dash R, and we're gonna go uh, our PCAP here, and then we're gonna wanna get, of course, our field, so it's going to be I think it's gonna be dash fields. Is that how it works? No, so let's go T shark dash H quickly. Just to refresh myself. 
Might be like, oh, oh, what is it? It's something fields, I think. Let's make this a little bigger. This is a tiny screen to look at. Apologies for that. All right, we take a look here and we can see the fields. Oh, T and then, right, right. Okay, T field, okay. So it's gonna be T fields, capital T fields. And then the fields that we want in this case are of course going to be uh, just data from right here. As you can see within the packet, we want the data field. So we'll do data and I think it's going to be, how do we do that? I think it's gonna be TAC, L. no, it's not TAC L, it's TAC E for field, okay? So fields, TAC E, data, and then this should, there we go. So it's grabbing the data and that's good. However, we just want certain packets. So we can't filter by ICMP because that's gonna get us way too much information. So I think what we have to do is somehow figure out how to filter by length. And this is where things get tricky because I'm not too sure how to done. I have done this before on Hack the Box. I don't remember how, it might be one of my videos. I have a Hack the Box channel, of course, where I post all things Hack the Box, but for now, it's not helping me as I try and recall how I've done this before. So let's go ahead and search up, uh, let's see, T-Shark, extract field on data length. Okay, and we're seeing all about exporting data, data length, feel how to add data length column in Wireshark. Uh, yeah, so I suppose if we add the filter, then it'll actually tell us how to uh, kind of grep for it. So let's go edit preferences, user interface columns. Well, I guess we can just add it. Choose the field type, field name. Oh, looks here, they're saying TCP length or UDP dot length. And I see here they're doing frame.number, frame.length. And that's interesting, frame.length. And cap, cap, okay, oh, wait, 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 I think we have to do like a cap length. So I think it's going to be, oh, there goes my cat up uh, behind me here, but we're going to do data. And then I think it's going to be frame, from what they're saying, dot cap, underscore length. think equals equals and then we want to do a uh, 10 4 4 or uh, frame I think this will work this might not work cap underscore length and what was that number that was uh, 189 again I don't quite think this will work I think we're gonna have to so it says, or what am I doing? Is it lowercase? Huh, interesting. So it didn't work as you can obviously see. And uh, wait a sec, so I didn't get the or issue. It's N or, oh, okay, okay, hang on, hang on. So it's, by, no, that doesn't make sense. Let's do, uh, let's see, let's look at this. We have T shark, our file, our fields, our data, our frame dot cap, underscore length, 1044 or 1089. And it says neither, oh my goodness, I know what it is. It says right there in the error, I need, I'm missing an E. Okay, there we go. So we know that this is obviously gonna build a PNG because when we copy and paste that first line of data into CyberChef, it showed us the PNG. So I'll show you everyone here a couple ways we can do this. Now, if this doesn't work, then we're gonna need to go back and remove that portion of data, the 189 packets, because I think that's to do with the tail end, but it might not be, and I might be able to land here. So let's copy all this, jump over to the CyberChef, CyberChef, paste this in, and my hope is we can just download it as a PNG, and then I'll show another way to complete this if it works. So let's go from hexadecimal. And I don't think this is actually going to work. However, let's just try it. Let's go download.png. I really don't think this is gonna work. Save it. Now we'll try opening it. But again, I don't think it'll work. I have a feeling we might have to like repair the, well, I guess we can see right here. We see the PNG, the IHDR, 
So the header's right, and if you go to the tail end, we have the I end of the file. So I guess it's right, but I have a feeling for 200 points, we're gonna, there's gonna be another step to this because it usually is. So let's jump right over into the downloads folder, open up a folder, and here we have, there it is. Oh, okay. That kind of seems too good to be true for a 200 point challenge. Um, let's try something else here. Let's put this into hex D and see what happens. All right, here's the handy dandy hex D. We're gonna paste this in. And we see at the end, we have the I N, we scroll to the top. Sure enough, it says PNG IHDR again. And I guess there's no point saving, so you know this obviously works. So that concludes it. That's wonderful. I did not think it was gonna be this easy. Um, yeah, that's a wrap. See everyone in the next video. But if you did this differently, please comment down below. I would love to know how you did this differently. And if you're able to do it from the command line, please comment down below. I'm actually gonna try doing this again off camera because it's probably gonna take me an hour and I'm probably not gonna get it. But I'm gonna try doing it from the command line. Anyways, see everyone in the next video. Happy, tenable CTFing.